Samantha, somebody is asking, does this work with people too? The way we bless an animal to bless someone is to hold them in our love and connect to them heart to heart? Yes. Actually, when I made a mention about this, um, bringing them into your heart and giving them a space, a room, there's a remark about in the Bible regarding in my father's house is many mansions. And I raised four kids. When they hit to be uh, just before teenage stage, they were bickering and jealous. And I had three Irish setters, four kids, five cats, one husband, and a cow. I was overloaded. And the kids were trying to get my attention when I came home. The dogs were trying to squeeze. I went into the bedroom. I got on my knees and I started crying. And I said, I don't even know how to meet my needs. How in the world do I meet all these other people's needs in my house? And this sunset technique came in. And I was told to take every single child, person in my house, every animal, and give them a space within my heart. And then in their space, each day, take one child and think about how much you love that being. And it feels the space they feel that they're loved. It changed all the jealousy stuff between the kids. It's a powerful tool. I want to say one little thing about um, that sunset, how powerful the sunset is. That sunset energy, when you're looking at the most beautiful sunset in the world that you're uh, viewing, and there are rays of light, and you're looking at those rays of light, and one of those or a group of light colors will just, you'll just be drawn to that. I was 35 years old celebrating my birthday on a beach by, in Encinitas by uh, the Self-Realization Fellowship building. I was on the beach though. And I was, had my eyes closed. I was saying a prayer to God, thanking him for my life and all the things that I was grateful for. I hear some kids off in the side and I open my eyes and I notice there's a little seal that has come up on shore and the kids are teasing it. And I knew if I tried to get up and walk close, the kids were, they're teenagers, that they were going to be obnoxious. So as I was sitting there, I decided, oh, I'm going to bring this sunset inside of me and emanate it out, bring more peace. I brought that sunset inside, filled me with that calm energy of peace and safety. And then I emanated it out all the way to where that little seal was. The kids walked away and all of a sudden that little seal gets closer and closer. It climbed up on my lap. And as it was laying on my lap, I put my hands on its little tummy and I could feel there was something slimy in its little tummy. And its little head was by my knees and its back fins were up against my tummy. And people would walk by and they would look at this seal on me. And I said, oh, it's my personal seal. <laughs> it's a little frightened of people. All day, I sat with my legs and my body in that position for that little seal. And then I asked God uh, when my kids came out of the water, because they were all surfers. Uh, and they would say, Mom, you can't stay here all night. You have to go home. You can't take that seal with you. You have to come home. And so I asked God, please provide a group of seals that will take care of this being. And then I left, knowing that that would be done. If we could sit at the beach and emanate that kind of calmness. It affected that animal. That animal didn't know me. I'm a human, I look different. It trusted that energy. So if you're standing in a line at the grocery store and you know that people are stressed, walk in being that son of peace and safety, emanate that out. 
We need people that are willing to bring more peace, goodwill on this planet at this time. Okay. Any questions now? Super. I hope you really see and feel the power of this gift that is always present every day. We see the sunset every day. If we took and just watched it, our mind would be quieted. It is God's gift to us. And it is a powerful tool for us to give to the animals or to someone we love. 